educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. According to federal prosecutors, they are saying that THF Teasy, when he witnessed FBG Duck downtown, he made a phone call. And in this phone call, he asked for d thing. And when I first heard that, or when I first read that, I said to myself, why is he asking for d thing? Now, for my understanding, uh, D Thang is not THF. Um, D Thang is not O Block. D Thang is Dog Pound. I mean, but however, they all be these though, right? But why D Thang? D Thang is not finna go suit up like uh C Thang, C Murder, uh uh Los, uh uh Muwap. Uh, Zell, he's not finna suit up and, and, and throw on all black and run down there and kill FBG Duck. D thing is not finna do that. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, why did he ask for D thing? And the only thing that I can come up with is this right here, y'all. D thing, no. And THF TZ knew that D Thang know about the bounty that they had on FBG Duckhead. Why else call him? What is the reason for? At this time in D Thang life, he doing shows, and I'm talking about not like uh rapping and stuff like that, but he is uh what you call he's a promoter. He promoting parties, bringing artists to Illinois, I mean, Chicago, Illinois, and all this whole type. Like, he doing this thing right here. He ain't out there gun slanging. So that's the only thing that I can uh, assume in my mind that THF TZ understood that D thing knew that there was a bounty on FBG Duck's head. And that's why. He wanted to speak with D thing. Now, the cold blooded part about all that is this right here, which furthers my belief, is that when he told D thing, hey man, you know, I just seen a FBG duck downtown. You would have thought that D thing would have instantly got off the phone. Like, why? Like, why is you calling me telling me this? Or why you got me calling you? Because he had to call Teasy. Why Why I'm calling you and you telling me this? I, I'm gone. Hang up the phone. No, but they, they on the phone having dialogue. They, you know, what type of car you in? You know, uh, this, that, and the other. You see what I'm saying? So, again... I would I would have thought that being that O Block wanted uh FBG Duck dead, that that should have been the first people he should have been calling. But being that he understood that D Thang knew and that D, D Thang was aligned to the pipeline, that hey, let me call him because I'm close to him. But this is the kicker right here. According to federal prosecutors, right, they are saying that uh, Lil Dirt is a high-ranking member of the Black Disciples and have close ties to O Block and Lamron. Now, when I read that, I said, okay is okay they saying that he is a high ranking member they are not saying stuff like you know he was a high ranking member you know but now he done changed his life 
you know, he trying to, you know, take care of the kids. He got the neighborhood heroes thing going on. You know, he feeding the kids. He taking care of the homeless. He getting water for people and stuff like that. Uh, you know, trying to change the re uh, uh, incentive. I mean, uh, uh, you know, stopping people from going back and forth to the penitentiary and stuff like that. You know, he he's, he's all about the community. They didn't say that. They didn't say that he was a high-ranking member of the Black Disciple. They said that Lil Durk is a high-ranking member of the Black Disciples. Check it out. Did y'all see that? Did y'all read that carefully? It said that multiple witnesses multiple will testify that Lil Dirk is a high ranking black disciple. Who could testify that Dirk is a high ranking black disciple? I can't. Why? Because I'm not a black disciple. GDs can't. Why? Because they are not black disciples. Stones, vice lords, Latin kings, uh, maniac Latin disciples, blood scripts can't none of them testify that Lil Dirk is a high ranking black disciple. Why? Because they are not black disciples. So who can? Who can testify? That he's a high-ranking black disciple. Come on. Say it with me. Black disciples. They got multiple black disciples willing to testify. In this federal murder of FBG Duck. That Lil Dirk is a high-ranking black disciple. So there it go again. Whenever there's a ranking system, there is a chain of command. And in this chain of command, you got to report to the top. Yeah. You can't just be running around doing what you want to do. This ain't no renegade stuff. Yeah, this is organization. It's just like when you at work, you want to do something, you want to move something, you got to go talk to the manager. You want to start a store over here, anything like that, you got to go talk to the CEO. You can't just go take the brand and do what you want to do. In the military, oh, y'all want to go kill them people over there? You can't just go do that. You got to go talk to your lieutenants, your generals and things like that. Okay, yeah, them people over there okay to kill. Yeah, go drop bombs, go take a helicopter over there, get your finest guns, AK-47, whatever y'all want, M16s, go over there and kill everything over there. Yeah, go do that. Foot soldiers can't move. They can't do nothing without the okay from up top. So here it is. I just don't understand, like, these thing know about the murder for hire on FBG Duck. King Von know about it. All of O Block know about it. How Lil Dirk ain't know about this? Being that multiple black disciples is finna testify in this case that he high ranking, that he the leader. How he did not know about what was finna happen to FBG Duck. Cold-blooded demonstration. Cold-blooded demonstration. Here it is. Everybody know about the murder for hire except him. Everybody damn near connected to the murder of hire except him. How is this possible? And he's supposed to be the leader. Usually, usually, the feds and law enforcement... Oh, they go for the head first. Uh -uh. 
We need y'all to come and tell us about what he did. We don't care about what these foot soldiers done did. We need to know about what the leader done did because we can we can we can charge the leader with everything that the foot soldiers done did. The leader ain't got to do nothing. Come on now, y'all. Anybody that that has been in gangs and been involved in gangs and understand gang culture will understand when they started coming to get all the chiefs, all the leaders of the gangs. It was not nothing that the leaders had did. It was everything that they foot soldiers had did. Even with the mob, the mob bosses, they don't do nothing. All they do is sit back, eat, laugh, giggle, sip on wine, kick it, and just direct. Do this, do that, mm-hmm, that. They don't do nothing. But they get convicted for all that. Why? Because they direct in traffic. They direct in traffic. So how? And y'all telling us in this paperwork that I just showed y'all that this man is the leader. Hey, I don't. Y'all know I can't see it. Y'all know I can't. Y'all know I can't see it. You know, I, 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 I look. But that's strange to me. That, that is really strange to me. Um, man, like, like I said before, y'all, listen, listen to me. Man, it's, it's, it's too much of a web, man. Dealing in these streets and, and dealing in this life of crime and all that. Man, just look at look at this case. If if you wanted to be a gang member or a gang banger or anything like that, please just look at this whole case. And just and just look how they got them wrapped up and how they got them caught. Just 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 look at this. This right here should give you a healthy fear to say you know, I thought I wanted to be a gang banger, but nah, I'm cool. You know, I, I did want to learn how to fraud people and steal identities and stuff, but uh, nah, I think I'm going to pass on it. They got too much technology now. You know, I, I thought I wanted to pimp, you know what I'm saying? I thought I wanted to be a criminal, but nah, you know, it, it, it don't pay like it used to back in the day. Plus, it's just too much backdoor stuff going on too much snitching going on and they got too much technology that can put me at the scene of a crime and all this old type of stuff. I think I'm a pass on that. This case right here should be a clear cut example that should give any young brother or any classic brother that's in that life of crime that's continuing to, continuing to commit crime to give pause and re-examine yourself and re-examine your mental status and say, man, wait a minute. I, I got to get out the way. I got to get out the way. Because they ain't playing fair. The street code is no longer the street code. Police is everywhere. Cameras is everywhere. Phones is everywhere. You're not going to get away. This is hood educated, not lane related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, please hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Peace and love.